What's going on? What happened? What you heard was going on? You heard something was going on? What hurt? You got burned on the pipe? A oh, a motorcycle pipe? I'm a muscle. Oh, my Oh, nothing so far. We just trying to see what's the crime or something. That's all. It's nothing important. Nothing major. We just checking out the crime and something that I don't think it's a trunk crime. Who's talking? Talking to you, Lee? Look, I be having a hard for people, man. I can whoop Ebony ass on my mama, but I just won't beat her up. I mean, like, after I seen her and Josh walk off and they didn't want to fight me, her and her nigga walked off and left me outside, standing, I give up. I told y'all I give up on that fight and shit. Man. Lord, you know. Yeah, we should call the police station. I open the nine emergency line. I just want to ask what's the emergency. I'm gonna ask the northeast side. Young yeah, dude, fine. Ma'am, can I ask you a question and inquire about something, please? Sure. Um, what is, is it? Uh, is it anything wrong with taking up with someone having? A picture of someone tag or license plate? Is that a crime? No. It's not? Okay, what could they do with that information if they have somebody tag number or license plate? Nothing. What information can they find out with it? Can they find out addresses? Um, no. It, no? They could just find out the no, year? No, 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 Okay, they can only find out the year of the making the model of the vehicle, right? If they ask the police officer or if they have if you have a license plate, uh, reader. Okay. Thank you. I was just trying to show a girl because a girl named Ebony Mayfield had got a picture took enough of a brand new tag on her car and she thinks that she can press charges because someone took a picture and gave it to someone and they showed it. And I was trying to tell them that it wasn't true. No, I mean, uh, because everybody has a cell phone, um, as if you are outside your house, Anybody can take a picture of you or whatever, your property or whatever. Now, if they committed a crime, then that photograph can be used as evidence, but not, not in, you know, any other way. Okay, so it's best to just hold the photograph if some evidence or something happened as a crime, then there would be some good thing. Other than that, it, it, it does no good to report somebody taking pictures of your car, right? Right. Okay, that's all I want to know. Right, yeah. Cars, um, adults, it doesn't matter. Uh, if somebody's taking a picture of children, then, you know, they do take a picture of that person taking a picture of a child. Yeah. Oh, okay, taking a picture of children will get you a crime. Wow. Oh, well, I, need, I might need to talk to you. One more other question. Um, if um you invite someone to pull up at your house and fight you and they come fight you, is that a crime? Both of y'all will be in trouble because that's a mutual agreement for them to come over and fight, right? If you in Say for example, I, I go right now and I tell somebody, come on over here and fight me and they come and we have a fight. What would happen if the police got involved? Well, whoever throws the first punches and if you have a physical um, if you look like you have bruises or any, you know. Because I, I, I was telling people that people is allowed on property, people is allowed on your street. People can go anywhere they want to go, long as they don't do nothing to you. They can go anywhere they want to go. The, the new law does not require a person unless you got a restraining order on that person. That's the only way a person can't go over to your complex or go over to your street or nothing like that. A well, person. If you on your on their property. Meaning that you're right to tell you that you are not welcome on your property. And if they have a no trespassing sign on their property, then yeah, you better not go over there. Now one more other question I wanna ask you and this the last one I'm sorry to keep bothering you. By me being a gun concealed license carrier, if someone is threatening my child's life, 
the proper thing to do is make a report with you guys just in case that person comes on my premises and look like they're coming to attack and I have to protect myself. You guys will have already in black and white that I documented and showed videos of this person threatening my child and myself, correct? If somebody is coming and threatening you with a gun? No, no not with a gun. They said on social... They, if they are just verbally threatening you, mm -hmm. you do not have a right to shoot them. If they come on your property and they, and you feel that your life is threatened, yes. Yes, I'll take them on property. Okay. Okay, that's all I want to know. But you have to make sure that everything else is covered. Like, if... You are outside your house. Uh -huh. If you are able to run inside of on the doors, then that's what you should do. Right. Mm -hmm. But if I'm outside, okay, well, what I'm saying is, okay, basically what's going on? The person, I don't care about me. I'm a grown woman. I can handle myself. The person, the 34-year-old has a problem where she wants to fight my child. And she makes come like her boyfriend, he's an ex-killer. He's going to kill my son. So what I did was I made a police report by me being a concealed gun license just to put it on black and white paper. So if her, her boyfriend that murdered two of y'all child years ago and her ever come towards my way and in the harm of me and my face or my child's face, I will protect me and my child. So basically, she feels like there was a charge filed, and I'm telling her, no, that's not filing charges on you. They're just putting it in black and white so the police will know what's going on, along with video, a paper trail. And I have to do that being a gun carrier. Okay, if you make a report, you're uh, it's not just a report. You're reporting that this person has committed a crime. Correct. Then that's, yeah, that's a report on crime. That's not just in case of, you know, somebody harming you. Yeah, and, and I think, and I think about me having a gun and me loving my children as much as I do, I, I think I did the right thing by making a report, getting a black and white paper. So if her and her boyfriend, the the kid, the ex killer, ever come towards me, I have a right to protect myself because, I mean, like. Look, I talked to the police. I don't want to go into further details, but I just want to clear all of this up what the report is and why it's best to do the report when it's the threat involved and you are uh, concealed license. That's all I want to do. I just want to verify that with you on the phone. You can protect yourself. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, bitch, anybody can go on your property. Anybody can go on your street, okay? Anybody can have your license plate. Anybody can have your tag. You're not gonna get nobody address off of it unless the policeman give it to you. You can do basically anything except for what I told you. When you are a concealed license, Ebony, I have a gun. You don't. I have three guns, you don't. So therefore, to protect myself and to keep my gun to keep my gun license I must report any type of crime that may go on that's why when I drove to Bubba to your house I didn't bring my gun with me because for me to go over there with a gun knowing I'm for the fight it might have to potentially put it out I would have had to have paperwork on Josh and I wasn't thinking during the time but now I have a paper trail on you and him Cause you said on the recorder that I gave to the police that Josh said he can't wait to see Bubba to bash his fucking head in. So I recorded it and I gave it to the police. I have about three papers on you. One on Josh. So with that being said, I got five on Keith Jones. I'm going to keep my paper trail. That's why I say come to Houston. That's why I'm inviting y'all. Come on. Come on. I be telling you, come on. I'm being calm with you. I'm not for the screen with you like you used to and drag you and talk about how dirty you is. I'm telling you, come on. Come on. 
I have a paper trail on you. I learned this from Fab. Fab taught me this. If Fab ain't never taught me nothing else, Fab taught me how to keep a paper trail. Fab used to always make fake lives with the kind of police and get paper trails on me, fake ones. So if me and her ever seen each other and I ever put my hands on her, I will go to jail. Because she have a paper trail this high. So there's one thing I learned from Fab. Tell her, I always call the police be like, she's trying to kill my kids. I'm like, why is she lying on me? Why is she lying on me? But tell was keeping a paper trail because if we ever bumped in each other and I would put a hand on her, all she got to do is call the police and I'm out of there. But in my case, what I want to do is if me and you ever scrap, okay, we going to scrap this one. We, we good. But if you ever try to get a weapon or you bring that nigga with you, I'm dunking this child. So that's the only reason why I document, bitch. I'm not trying to file choices on you. You're not a threat to me, Ebony. But I'm going to protect my gun and my license because I need my gun, my guns, and I need my license to protect me and my family. See, bitch, when I get ready to fight, I don't nothing. I'm done talking. Period. You, you, you don't. And let me tell you something else. If my BMW is a 2015, if it is a 2015, you have a kill for rental. My value of my BMW, if it is a 2015, is still more than your kill for rental. You're going to have to get somebody to teach your slow ass how you, you, you need, you slow, Ebony, you slow. My BMW holds more value than your Kia for rental. Can y'all press one? For it, say, I mean. Because y'all press one, if y'all get what I'm saying. That's just like, if I have a 2015 BMW and somebody pull up with a 2014 Mercedes, that Mercedes holds more value than my BMW. Even though it's older. Because the Mercedes is more valuable than the BMW. My BMW is more valuable than your car, Ebony. Okay? They will give me more for my BMW than they will give you for your key of foresight. <coughs> okay? So stop it. You got a 2018 kill for it, right? Get that little motherfucker in the joy. Take the kids somewhere. Bitch, if you want me to send you some money, take them little motherfuckers to Chuck E. Cheese, bitch. I thought you a good little hot 60. Leave us alone. Go do something. <laughs> bitch, when I get a new car, the first two weeks, I drive the fuck out that motherfucker. I drive that bitch like it ain't shit. I ain't never seen a person get a new car and still sit on the internet and worry about everybody else. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. I got the leather seats, I got the seat warmers, I got the sunroof, I got the satellite radio, I got the internet, I got... I don't know what all I got to pay. I got so much stuff in here. It's fully loaded with everything. It's equipped with everything. I got the reverse cameras. I got everything. But the thing is, Ebony, it's no competition. It's a good thing you got a car. We happy you not walking them out. We proud that you have a car. You have things that a grown-up should have a car. You don't have nothing that's unbelievable. I'm pretty sure damn near everybody in the comment section have a car. Welcome to having a car, Ebony. Welcome to having a little piece of responsibility. Now focus on keeping it. Your car, thirteen hundred, thirteen thousand dollars. You gotta, you you gotta online sell for thirteen thousand dollars on it. Let's focus on using them them big old chicks to pay out that thirteen thousand. And then you will be an owner, that bitch. If you use three of your big old chicks. You can own that motherfucker. So focus on that boy. And then that'll give you a little something on your credit. 
Focus on what's important, bitch, okay? Like, I got this BMW because I want a brand new Audi truck. But BMW told me I wasn't ready for the new Audi truck based on what I had going on. So, I would have to keep this BMW for one year before I can get a 2020 Audi truck. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay these notes on time, which is I pay them early. And my interest rate has dropped very, very low. Yes, pre on. No, my Audi truck will be brand new. So, my interest rate has dropped because I paid my notes very, very early on time. So, with that being said... I will be getting me an Audi truck next year around the same time I got this BMW. January. But Ebony, we are proud of you. We are happy you got your car. You are doing grown woman things, okay? We happy you got an iPad. You doing grown woman things. We happy you finally got your first iPhone. We proud of you. We happy you got your nails done. Everything you want us to see, we proud of, Ebony. Okay. Buy some more stuff, girl. I don't buy some more stuff. No, I'm for real. It seemed like paradise. Y'all, this is what she want to hear. We proud of you. We proud. A car is a car. Because at the end of the day, bitch, you ain't going to pay for mine. And I'm not going to pay for yours. Period. So enjoy your car, girl. You got the alligator um thing out there where you can take Mike and KK to see the alligators for twenty one dollars a piece, bitch. Ride the motherfucking forest ride for ten dollars, bitch. You close to the Lake Charles Casino where you and your man can go get a hotel and let the kids swim in the water. It's a lot of shit you could be doing, Ebony. Besides feasting your eyes, always worried about Ashley and Precious. Because I promise you I'm not going to get you what you're looking for. I promise you mine ain't going to miss out on shit worried about on you. I'm not going to sit in the house all day on no Saturday arguing with you while the city is having a fiasco. A fiasco. So, if you got my license plate number, I haven't verified it at the back. If you got my license plate number, what do you want me to do, Ebony? You want me to go get me a new car? What was I supposed to do? Call the police to talk them? You have it. Come arrest you. What do you want me to do? You want me to get off the line? Girl, do you know how many times they have pulled my license plate number? They knew my license plate number, some of my Mercedes Benz I had. And they got the license plate number right now to the kill. If you go look on um across the street and type in China Red Gucci license plate. They have my. They have always said my license plate to all my cars. But the thing is, you can't do nothing with it, honey. Nothing. Just like precious can't do nothing with your face. There's nothing you can do with it, honey. Okay. Instead of you listening to your comments, start picking up your phone, calling the police station, the non-emergency line, and getting advice for them. Because your comments don't know what they're talking about. And we're in a, a different jurisdiction than Oak Cliff and all them other bitches that's sitting in your room. Brownie Bike and all of them. Houston is very hard to get charges put on a motherfucker. Very hard. It is very hard to get a restraining order on a motherfucker. You got to damn near have your eyes hanging out your motherfucking head. And they don't give a fuck about no internet bullying either. So, bitch, you in the wrong city. You want to move somewhere else. Texas don't give a fuck about nothing. They want, they want you to kill a motherfucker. And and last but not least, why are you worried about my daughter's charger? What? Why are you mad? If she have a charger, Ebony? She don't have no twenty eighteen kid for rent, so you should be happy. She ain't balling like you with the 2013 kill for renter. <clears throat> you balling, bitch. You got a 2018. She got a, a charge, bitch. You got a you got a 2018 for renter. She not balling like you, baby. Okay. Shari's not shitting on you, okay? You shitting on her with that for renter. You shitting on that charge, girl. 
Just like you shitting on this BMW. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm at the goofy. No, bitch. She is shitting on us. She got a 2018. She ain't got no charger. She shitting on this bitch. She said, I got proof. A shower's ain't got no. Might be that. Okay, I'm gonna look at the license plate number when I get in the house. Did they see me? See if they got me, girl. I'll let you know if you got my plate. So I can be scared. Shivering in my boots. Look at the charger sitting over there. Lord Jesus. Paul, Paul little charger. Oh, that's a big ass cat. Walking my fat ass in the house. Walking around 5300 Coke Street. I mean, 5300 uh, South Lake Houston. <laughs> Walking around, girl. <laughs> girl, they bought her that iPad. She thinks she the police, baby. Girl, I remember when I had my iPad Pro, this boy used to go with stole it. Girl, I ain't nothing. <laughs> she she got to get used to it, y'all. Y'all know she just not getting off her first Apple device. Let her make it, y'all. Let Ebony be great. <laughs> Somebody say, nah. Let her be great. If she, if she want to be um, Inspector Gadget in the damn police division, let her be. What's up? Yeah, but you know, girl. Oh, my house is so clean. Oh, Lord, it feels so good to walk in. Lord. Woo! My baby clean. Lord Jesus. <sighs> Y'all spend the night over here. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, y'all. Let me take. Let me take a shower. <laughs>